Hey, how's it going YouTube? Today I will be unboxing the Samsung 870 Evo 1TB SSD and installing it into my Omen 30L. So, if you guys are interested, hang around and maybe we'll download a game on to this and see how well it performs in the system. Alright, so let's take a look at this box really quick. The 870 Evo is capable of reading and writing at 560 and 530. I have the one terabyte drive on the back. You can pause that if you'd like. Nothing too crazy. Let's get this box open. Looks like we just got it up from right here. The Samsung warranty. Let's keep that in here. And here we have the SSD. Pretty light. Oh damn, that is really light actually. Here is the backside of the SSD. I am covering up the serial number and whatnot just in case any of you whiz kids try and hack and steal my college homework or something. But just know that there are some little screw inserts here on the side, underneath, and over here on the side. The only downfall is that this drive did not come with those screws. For the screws that did not come with the SSD, I got this on Amazon. It was just maybe like a little less than 10 bucks. So I'll leave a link for that in the description. I'm gonna start trying a few of these out and see which of these fits best. So I found, <clears throat> I found that the best screw that fits out of this case is the M35 down here in the corner. I'll try and get that a little closer so you guys could actually read off the measurements. This little bad boy right here is the best fitting screw for this SSD. Uh, the M3 is the size of like the diameter or the thread that you're going to want to get for this drive. Uh, the 5 over here is in reference to the actual length of the screw. So I think 5 is probably the shortest that you'd want to go. Um, but for this it fits perfectly. So you can get this entire set or just try and find these screws. I thought that this was a pretty nice little like uh, package here just in case I need screws for something else. Now I am going to power off my HP Omen and get this thing cracked open. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is remove the panel from the PC case. It's as easy and as simple as pushing the button that's in the back. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and get this popped off and place it somewhere nice and safe. Okay, there that goes. And easy peasy. All right, now that the shielding is gone, we can actually get in here and start taking out what we need to. If you see over here on this side, uh, the HP Omen 30L has included two hard drive or SSD spaces with the cables already routed. So I am going to install the SSD into the top uh, tray over here and keep this kind of saved for maybe a future SSD. I think the 500 gigs and one terabyte between this, I won't really have any reason to upgrade for quite some time, but it is nice to know that I can just throw an extra bad boy in there whenever I feel the need to. All right, now let's get these cables out of the way so we can take the tray out safely. How am I going to get this bad boy out of there? This feels like the game you play with, like a baby toy fitting the shape into the hole. It's like I got a huge square. I need like a little square. Oh, I'm the smartest man alive. Okay, now we will grab these two little prongs and pull this out. All right, there she is. 
Easy peasy. Now I am actually going to mount the SSD onto the bracket. Just have to make sure that the ports for the data and the power are actually facing the prongs. That way they're facing this way when we put it in and we can plug those cables back in. So let me get those screws started. Just a small little tidbit of advice, but when you're doing this, I like to start on one, go on the other, start on one, go on the other. Not tightening them all the way as you are doing it, just kind of like a car tire if you've ever done that. Just want to make sure I'm not um, stripping any of the threads on the SSD itself. This SSD is now snug as a bug in a rug. Everything lined up perfectly. Those screws worked perfectly. I am very glad that that all worked out. So if you guys are in the market for an SSD and need some screws, this is the way to go. And again, you want the M35. I don't have any extra space in between the SSD and the actual tray. So I think that this should work for a vast majority of whatever you have out there. And it especially works well with the HP Omen 30L. Now let's seat this bad boy in. Remember, little prongs go facing you. Make sure all the cables are out of the way. And let's find the rail. Nice. And we just feed these cables. Let's get the big boy through. All right, here we go. Struggle bus time. This is a battle of the minds here. Oh, I'm the smartest man alive. Oh my goodness. Now, when you're doing this, you'll be able to kind of see inside here that there's gold plated pins. Just make sure the gold is making contact with the gold or copper, or whatever it is here. That way it slides into place like that and it's seated properly. Okay, because I don't really want to like get this in a very weird angle, I'm just going to connect it from outside of the tray. Uh, no one will really like see it's there. I mean, I know it's there and you guys know it's there. So I guess PC1, Steven Zero, let's get this thing plugged in. Now you can see that the cables are actually laid over this little ridge right here. It doesn't really look too bad and honestly I think HP did a wonderful job like routing all of the cables through like perfectly just to have them sitting here in these two trays waiting for you. And the only kind of like complaint that I would have is there is like no play on these cables like these things are, are very tight. but once you actually get it seated and like working properly, I think that that tightness just makes it look that much cleaner. Now let's get this powered on, see if we can see the drive and play a game off of it. Really quick before we get it powered on, uh, you're gonna watch me struggle to put the glass back on. See how that goes. It looks like you just put that, everything lines up very nicely. Oh. And then just click it in place. Wow, that was actually very easy. Once you have installed your SSD, you can check it out using Samsung Magician. It'll be able to tell you the drive health and the temperature, if it's a genuine drive or not. Pretty much anything that you would like to know can be found here. I am going to blur out the serial number just for privacy's sake. If you tried to actually download a game or use your SSD right now, it wouldn't work because you need to actually go into uh, your control panel and allocate a partition for your SSD. Now let's do that real quick just in case you guys needed to see that. So control panel, add administrative tools. And here you go to computer management. Now we will go to storage, disk management. So here it is going through the 
partition. Here you can see that I have the one terabyte SSD that is unallocated. I'm going to right click it, new simple volume, the little wizard guy comes. And here you can choose like how much you'd want to this and then you can like break it up if you're running like VMs or something, but we're just gonna use it for games and whatnot. So let's leave this all the same. And this is all fine. And this is all fine. Finish. Formatting the disk. And now we have a disk that we can use. Now one game that really caught my eye is Dragon Quest Builders. I've seen people play it on the Switch and seeing it come to the Xbox Game Pass for PC, that is just uh, pretty sick nasty. So as you can see, the SSD is here and I can use it to download games into. Let's get this downloaded and I'll be right back when the game has finished and we are rocking and rolling on it. Okay, now that the game has fully finished downloading, we are going to boot it up in real time and see how this SSD chugs along. Okay, I guess this is the first time I've used Xbox Game Pass on here, so I had to do that. Woo! I had to do that weird uh, little task manager thing to like accept that it was my account, so maybe not the best little uh, exercise there, but let's let's fire this game up. <laughs> this is this is pretty neat. Well, I'm not going to get into this too much, but as you guys can see, it launched the game perfectly fine. I'm sure it'll have absolutely no problems with anything you throw at it. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any more questions or if you need any help with anything, please let me know in the comments down below. And like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you'd like to see more of the HP Omen, let me know what you'd like to see about it, and also check out the video that I have unboxing this bad boy. Other than that, see you guys later. I appreciate you stopping by. Later.